Kyle Bratcher from Chaparral Motorsports here. David and I were here doing some helmet filming and Rasha showed up at the store looking for a helmet. Now she came in because the current helmet that she's wearing is just too large and it's not comfortable for her riding down the road anymore. What size helmet are you currently wearing? A small. A small. Now that's one thing we want to pay attention to. All different manufacturers of helmets have their own size chart and a small in one brand doesn't necessarily mean a small in another brand. Another reason for that is some brands are more round and others are more oval. So depending on the shape of your head, you're gonna fit in one helmet very different than you're gonna fit into the other one. So the first thing we wanna do obviously is measure your head. So Kyle's got his handy dandy measurement tool here. So normal spot is right above the brow line. So we'll go in here, don't poke her eye out. It looks like you're right about a 52 and a half. So on our size chart, that's right between an extra small and a double extra small. So. I guess your helmet at home is too big. <laughs> so that's why you're here. So. so here on the table in front of us, we grabbed a medium, a small, and an extra small helmet. Now, most people, when they come into the store, they grab a bunch of helmets, they put it on, they kind of wiggle around a little bit, and the one that is the most comfortable is the one they walk out of the store with. Now, what happens? As soon as you do your first or second round of that helmet, it heats up and that foam starts to compact or break in, if you will, the helmet becomes very loose and wants to just jiggle around on your head as you're riding down the road. So we're gonna try the medium helmet on first and show you what a typical person might walk out of the store with and explain why that's not a good fitting helmet. Yep, so this one here is the medium. So slide this baby on your head and see what we feel like. So from looking at it, I can already see it's too big. Like you're not enough room for your face or there's too much room and now go like this. Yep, so your head can move around in there. So if you're cruising down the freeway at 70 miles an hour and you fly off your bike and run into a Peterbilt, there's gonna be some bad stuff moving around. So yeah, I mean, you're just yeah. barely moving your head and things flying around on your, yeah. <laughs> on your melon. So that's obviously too big for you. Yeah. So a couple things you wanna take a look at is you want to feel the actual styrofoam around your head. Can you feel it touching the sides of your head yeah. here all the way around? And can you feel it touching the crown of your head on the very top? Yeah. Those, are two, those are two areas that you're gonna want to make sure that you have some sort of contact with because that's where your head's gonna sit. And that's what's gonna be able to protect you is you want a secure fit around the whole top of your head so you don't get any jarring effect if you do happen to go down. Another thing to look at is on the side of the helmet. You want no more than two fingers to be able to fit in between the helmet and your head when you stick your fingers up in there. She could probably put her whole hand yeah, <laughs> in the side of her helmet. Obviously, too big of a fit. So let's go ahead and get this one off and we'll jump into the small and see how that fits. It's comfortable. Yeah, so this being a small, we can already see it's, it's getting better. Yeah. So it looks like it's definitely better in the cheek area, but I can still see a lot of movement up on the top of the head. So this particular shell is a little bit more round than this one was. So I can see definitely more room on the sides of the helmet already. Yeah. So you can probably still shove your hand in there, even though it looks like there's yeah, enough room for your right. face. But so then again, we're still big. So yeah. you can fit a lot of different things in there. So you can hide your, you know, take my all your phone, things with you. Yep. My makeup. <laughs> That's how they do it in Europe. You go in Europe and they have their phones stuck up the side of their helmet and they're just cruising along in their maxi scooter talking away. It's a Bluetooth though. So. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. So still too big. No, that one fits nice. <laughs> yeah, so it's a normal day. You probably would have left with this thing and been like, oh, yeah. this is comfortable. And you go out and ride, and you notice that it just turns into a big old mess. nasty have. mess. So what's going to happen is she's going to pull us on. It's going to be a little bit more snug than the others that she's worn. I don't even know how to open. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, the one thing you're going to want to notice is or realize is when you first put the perfect fitting helmet on, it is going to be a little bit snug to begin with. That will continue to break in over time and become the best fitting helmet you've ever worn if you've been wearing a helmet that's been too big. Yeah. So with this one, it definitely looks a little bit better, but yeah. this helmet, so this being another different shell, there's a lot more room in front of your face. So mm -hmm. it just, it looks big to begin with. Yeah. So we actually tried, had you try on this one. So let's do, let's go back to this guy. So this one is yeah, an extra is small good. in the same shell you just tried on. So with this guy, put that thing on and we'll see that like, it's gonna be a little bit tighter but this is exactly how it should be. So you can see that your cheeks are pushed in. So what Kyle said is the even feel around the crown of the head you want, yeah, and you you shouldn't be able to chew gum without biting your cheeks. So, it, but it will break in. So 
Your helmet's going to be a little bit uncomfortable at first, but then once you get out there, ride a few times, sweating it a couple of times, it will pack in. So that way you want your helmet a little bit on the tight side to begin with. That way you don't end up with a helmet that's too big like yeah. you do at home. Mm -hmm. So um, there you go. There's your extra small, and that looks yeah. just about right. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you, Rasha, for joining us and helping us do some helmet sizing for thank you. Thank you guys for figuring it out. <laughs> now that you know which size helmet you need, you can take a look at the different colors and graphics that we offer here at Chaperone Wear Sports and find your perfect helmet. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, that's a wrap. Thank you, David. Thank you, Rasha. Thank you. That's how to properly size a helmet here at Chaperone Wear Sports. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and ride safe.